Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are looking at Adolf Hitler and his aims in foreign policy and how he technically started World War II. So first of all, we're going to talk about Hitler's aim in uh, foreign policy. And if you may know that Hitler went to prison in 1924, uh, and this is where he wrote the book Mein Kampf. Now, Mein Kampf is German for My Struggle. Now, he's, his aims were expressed in this, and he had three main aims. His first aim was to make Germany into a great power again, which was kind of um, an obvious aim, but after World War I, where they were um, a little bit humiliated in the way that, that after the Treaty of Versailles, that everything was taken away from them, they had to try and get back to their uh, former glory. He also wanted to unite all German-speaking people under his rule. That meant getting Austrians in the country, and basically meant expanding the country. And the final one is to gain territory for Germany into the east to provide Lebensraum, which is German for living room for the German people, which again is another way of just saying he wanted to expand and conquer other countries. So to achieve these aims, the first thing he had to do was um, basically destroy the Treaty of Versailles. Now, one of the um, one of the conditions on the Treaty of Versailles was that the Rhineland would be demilita uh, demilitarized. And the first thing that he went about in 1936 was that he remilitarized the Rhineland. Now, this was kind of a mistake on um, uh, on uh, this was a mistake on the British part because on the 7th of March 1936, the German soldiers marked uh, marched into the Rhineland. Now. Hitler actually expected some resistance, maybe France or something, and that would have meant that they would have backed down. However, they didn't. Uh, no resistance was given, meaning that Hitler was free just to walk into the Rhineland, where he was meted with cheers, and he could simply um, take a, destroy that off the Treaty of Versailles and have land from the Rhineland. Now, his next, his um, his next thing was Anschluss. So after he um after the Rhineland had been conquered he had bas he had successfully reversed the treaty of versailles and um, the the, the position of hitler in germany had been strengthened um it also led to the rome berlin axis with mussolini who was another fascist um there was movements to ro to um towards rearmament in britain which was basically uh, meaning that britain was starting to worry a little bit um, so then his next, he was full of confidence and he didn't think the League of Nations, if you watch my other video about the League of Nations, were going to stop him. So his next thing was um, in Austria, he decided to do Anschluss. Now, he, in, he stated in Mein Kampf that he thought that um, Austria was rightfully Germany and he was actually born in Austria. But this was actually different than others because he didn't basically take it over. He basically did an election to say, um, or a referendum to say whether Austria wanted to be part of, um, or wanted to be part of Germany. Now the the problem was he did though is that it was very hard to say no because for firstly like the the box for um, saying yes would have been massive and there would have been people watching over you, the Nazis watching over you and it would have been very threatening so th most Austrian people had no choice and I think something like 99% of people voted to be part of Germany. Um, after he took over Austria he was already starting to get very big and he started, he wanted Czechoslovakia was his next destination. Now um, this is where we need to know a little bit about the Munich Agreement, which was um, part where Chamberlain decided to say that the Sudetenland would become German. Now, he's already taken over a little bit, but with Neville Chamberlain, in order to stop Germany from uh, carrying on, he said um, that, that J Hitler was able to have all of Czechoslovakia. Now, the, Czechos uh, the Czechoslovakians weren't exactly um, very happy with this, but on the 1st of um, October, uh, Neville Chamberlain arrived in Britain saying that they had had peace. However, as we know now, this was not true because later the Britain said that if you dare invade Poland, so that he he firstly he um, he uh, conquered the rest of Czechoslovakia, but then Britain after that said if you dare invade Poland, we are going to uh, start a war on you. Now, Germany didn't really think that was true, so um, on the 1st of September 1939, they invaded Poland, and this was what ultimately started the war. Now, Britain, even though uh, Germany thought that Britain would back down their promise, they didn't, and in the end of the day, uh, the war, World War II was started. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, can you please subscribe to my channel, visit my website, and give this video a like. Thank you, and see you soon. Goodbye.